What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching the last episode and subscribing, sharing, and liking our uh, our uh, uh, BGJ vlogs. As promised, uh, I think it was in the first episode we're gonna do a vlog about uh, weight training. Uh, today, uh, my longtime training buddy Amar is here to join us. Hi. How long have you been training uh, uh, with weights? Uh, since 2007. Yeah, because you you started with jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Back when I was a white belt and you're a blue belt, a yeah. long time ago. <laughs> and then we, uh, I started training at you, uh, t t training under you, and uh, then we started uh, lifting together. Yeah. So kind of what uh, uh, what I do in jiu-jitsu, you know, uh, sharing the knowledge with everybody. That's what Omar does on the weight training. He's very enthusiastic about all kind of uh, functional uh, exercise for jiu-jitsu. So basically, he makes all my uh, my fitness uh, programs, and we try it a lot during the, uh, the years, right? You're right. Uh, what, what would be your favorite? Uh, heavy compounds for uh, low reps, and then add some bodybuilding stuff to balance it out. Yeah. For hypertrophy and uh, uh, conditioning. And, and uh, as you look throughout the years, because it's a lot of years we've been doing the weight training. Um, what do you think is the most important aspect in weight training in regards to jiu-jitsu? Uh, to me, it's getting stronger. Some people uh, try to turn it in an uh, all, uh, all conditioning workout, very light weight. But if you want to condition, you should do more jiu-jitsu or running, things like that. But the primary focus of uh, weight training is to get stronger and bigger, yeah. at least for me. Yeah, and I, I found for me on a personal level, that especially with, with getting a stronger lower body, so lower back, legs and everything, it helps me to prevent injuries. Uh, especially when you, d you do a lot of guard, you use your legs a lot, we, we get a lot of compression on our lower backs. So that is uh, why I have a lot of, um, um, how do you say, uh, a lot of effects from, from the weight training. So uh, as for today, we're gonna show you a bit how, how we train here, because we train here every week together. Um, and we put a link below in the description with our current training program and uh, I'm going to put your details in the comments so that people can contact you if they want uh, any yes. uh, help with their uh, training program yes. or uh, tips regarding food, whatever. So uh, enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video. Let us know what you think in the comments. So uh, right now we're doing supersets in our program. And one of the most important things you do is always a good warm-up. Uh, we do it always uh, functional, so um, we start with military presses. So we just warm up with the, with the military presses that Amar is showing right now. Just lightweight and build up towards the uh, uh, working weight. So the um, military press is supersetted with uh, standing rows. Um, it's a different exercise than you might know from sitting rows, but just adds a different dimension just for variation and uh, you just, you know, uh, addressing a different part of the muscle. Like in jiu-jitsu, no move is the same. So we try to, uh, to start our muscles in weight training as much as possible. So use a lower pulley and do the, do the low row. Yeah, Another important thing when doing training, weight training, is music. And if you're looking for a good playlist, uh, look on Spotify and check out the Baby Tank uh, playlist. So Amar is working towards the uh, working set weight right now. And uh, basically uh, what we have to do is we work towards uh, three um, to six repetitions, uh, three sets. So basically uh, on the form, I hope you can see it. We write down uh, the weights we achieve, so we know what the goal is for next training. And of course, you always want to overachieve. So then we know what our, what our goal is, but never, never lift more 
than you can. You should always have a good posture. If in doubt, contact the personal trainer uh, or check some videos on YouTube to see how you should do it. And always keep track of your results so you know where you're heading at. So we uh, created this workout so we can have uh, multiple short sessions each week. So you can train for only uh, 30, 40 minutes per session, but you can do it like six times per week without burning out. And the super sets are made uh, in a way in that you uh, train the primary muscle and superset it with the opposite muscle. So you can work your body from the, uh, both opposite sides. So when, when we train, uh, doesn't matter which kind of uh, schedule we're following, it's always containing squats, um, some deadlifts or other heavy exercises for the back, pull-ups, uh, um, chest press, uh, but more important than chest press is a big heavy shoulder um, exercise. So we just did military press. The second exercise for today is Bradford press. And I really like how your shoulders burn because in Jiu Jitsu you use a lot your shoulders. Not the strength of your shoulders, but just they're in a certain position like when you're making a frame or something, you put a lot of tension on your shoulders. So that's what I find very convenient um, in, in my weight training, to, to put a lot of shoulder exercises. Shoulders, lower back, and uh, legs. Those are the most important exercises, I think, in your weight training for your Jiu Jitsu. So our next exercise is the landmine press, also known as the Viking press. It's a, it's a great movement because you are hitting one shoulder at a time but you also have to engage your entire body, your core, your legs to, to keep upright and to control the weight especially when the weight get, uh, <laughs> gets heavier <laughs> Yeah, it's a great core exercise and again, it relieves a lot of uh, uh, stress uh, you use your core a lot so it helps relieving uh, pain in your lower back as well and in your hip area because you really have to engage your hip like in Jiu Jitsu, if your hip is off center you can't really perform this exercise in a great way. So uh, yeah, definitely a great movement. Maybe uh, you don't have a full gym at home like I do, but another great way to train for yourself whenever it's convenient and you don't have the time to go to the gym is train with resistance bands. Uh, it happens that I sell them in my web shop as well, so check out onlinefighter.eu for a full set of resistance bands. Uh, but basically, you can do a lot of exercises with it, and if you travel a lot, it's very very great because, uh, yeah, like the name uh, itself tells you, it's a resistance band. So it applies uh, resistance. The further you stretch, the more resistance you get. So this is a great, great exercise. Because we do a lot of pulling uh, with our shoulders, for instance, with a choke or pulling the gi. 
So this is a perfect exercise for that as well. But it could be biceps. It could be uh, shoulders as well, right? So you stand on it, you push it. So definitely check out for a good set of resistance bands um, if you don't already have them, because I think it's a must to incorporate some, uh, some exercise or resistance bands in your training as well.